This video revises a style of simultaneous equations in which you've got two equations 5x equals 40 minus xy and y is equal to x. Now the issue with the first equation is, is we have two variables x and y. So x here, an x here and a y there. However, we know that y is equal to x. This means that I could replace the y in the first equation by an x. So equation 1 becomes 5x equals 14 minus x times x. x times y, y is the same as x, so that becomes x times x. Which, if it's worked out, becomes 14 minus x times x is x squared. So the challenge is to try to solve that equation. Now this is basically an x squared equation. And the way to solve these is to set the equation equal to zero. And where possible make the x squared term positive. So if I add the x squared term to the left hand side, I'll get positive x squared and a 5x equals 14. Remember, as terms move sides, their signs basically change. So what was a negative x squared becomes a positive x squared. And I want a 0, so if I take away 14, I get x squared plus 5x take away 14 equals 0. This is now a quadratic equation equal to 0, which I can solve either with the formula or completing the square, or by factorising. And this does factorise because 7 lots of minus 2 is minus 14, and 7 take away 2 equals 5. So this becomes x plus 7, x take away 2 equals 0. And the trick when you factorise is the solutions are x equal to minus 7, or x is equal to positive 2, because minus 7 plus 7 is 0, and 2 take away 2 is 0. So x is minus 7, or x is 2, because y is just equal to x, we could also write down that y is minus 7, or y is 2 as well. And these are the solutions to the simultaneous equations.